name is Kay Pryor. I make content based on fashion, fitness, business, and occasional lifestyle vlogs. And we finna get right into this video. This video today, I'm gonna show y'all how I make my hot oil treatment that I use to make my hair grow. I'm also gonna show y'all um, the products that I use for my locks as far as like the retwisting gel, the shampoo, the conditioner, and um, stuff like that, and any other additional products that I use when it's retwisting day. So right before we actually jump into like making a hot oil treatment and the products that I use for my locks, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about me and my locks and how I actually got started. My hair used to be super damaged. It wasn't as bad, but I always kept my hair done, so I didn't really care. I actually cut my hair back in April 2020, and when I did that big chop, y'all, I was so scared. I didn't know how I was gonna look. I didn't know if I was gonna pretty much like embrace myself. I didn't know. I thought I was gonna throw a wig on. I ain't gonna cap y'all. I had a wig sitting on the bed ready. As soon as I cut my hair, I was gonna throw a wig on until my hair grew, but it was a new beginning. It was a fresh start. I was so nervous and I just embraced it and I started wearing my natural hair. I don't know what it was that pushed me to do that because I love getting my hair done, but I just embraced it for what it was. I honestly haven't embraced my natural hair like that before, so doing that was just like a big push and I was so scared and nervous. I was like, what people gonna think about me? Like, is this cute? Is it ugly? Like, I don't know. I just had a lot running through my mind, but I just eventually did it. And I actually got very confident in doing it. Like, I used to be confident wearing like wigs and braids and all that other stuff, but being confident and embracing your own natural look, y'all, that feeling, unmatched. I actually got my hair done every two weeks. I, every two or three weeks, I was getting a new hairstyle. I was wearing them lace wigs. When I would go to the gym and stuff, like a little part would lift up a little bit, but you know, ain't nobody was really looking like that. Just like pat it back down. And I never appreciated my natural hair. I never embraced my natural hair. I always just constant like hairdo, 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 hairdo. Only time I would let it rest is before I put on a wig, which is like a day or whatever. But other than that, no. I have perm in my hair, flat iron. Y'all, my hair was so heat damaged. You can see through it. It was like, okay, so the roots and everything like that was like dark and full, but towards the ends, y'all, it was so see-through, it was bad. It was real bad. And I knew I needed to chop, but I didn't wanna let go of that length. I still had length there. I was not letting that go. I was so sick of getting my hair done. And that's the main reason why I did the big chop. I was sick of getting my hair done, sick of doing my hair, never letting my hair breathe. My hair was already damaged. And I was like, I'm sick of it. I can't. This needs to go and needs to go neon. So that's why I chopped it off. Also, for those who are thinking about doing a big chop and you're thinking about doing it yourself, let me give y'all some advice. So I actually had on a wig the day I was doing my um big chop, right? And my hair was like corn rolled. So what I did was I actually took like the corn roll out. I would spray it with water, and then you could see like the root of my hair, you can see the natural part, the thick part of it, that was like natural and not damaged. You can see that part separated from like, of course, like the heat damage and stuff. So what I did was I took a braid out, I seen that natural part, and I would just cut it, like corn roll by corn roll by corn roll by corn roll by corn roll, the whole entire head. I had like a mirror in front of me and a mirror behind me, and I would just cut in braid by braid by braid. And when I tell y'all, I was shocked Everything came out good and even. When I tell y'all, that is the number one trick I would like, I would recommend that to anybody. Anybody can do it. If I could do it, having no experience and like cutting hair or anything like that, y'all could definitely do it. When my hair was that short, one go-to style that I always did was finger coil. So I wish I recorded videos at this time. This is when I actually wanted to start YouTube, but I was just so nervous to start. But I used to do like finger coils. I would just pretty much wet my hair, put some castor oil in it, and I will use this Auntie Jackie's like curl custard or something. And I'll just finger coil it up. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing. I was finger coiling every week. I was loving them little coils. I was shaking them and everything. It wasn't all that much to shake, but I was, I was doing something with them. I was doing something with them. But yeah, other than the finger coils, I don't think I actually did anything else with my hair. And I get a lot of people who used to ask me if I was at work or just out, whatever, am I gonna get dreads? Am I starting dreads? I'm like, no, I'm just like finger coiling my hair because I don't know what else to do with it. Getting locks wasn't really on my mind. It was there, but it wasn't really like on my mind. It wasn't something that I honestly wanted to start. But I eventually did. I am happy that I started my locks. And I also thought to myself like, the later I'm starting my locks, 
the later I'm delaying my progress. If y'all get what I'm trying to say, like, if I'm starting my locks later on down the road, like I planned on doing in the beginning, I wouldn't get, like, the amount of progress or length or growth that I wanted to get, like, if y'all get where I'm going, because I feel like I'm confusing myself. So I pretty much started my locks, like, three times. My first lock video was this video here, and I actually made, like, this aloe gel, and I did my locks. I did like the gel, don't get me wrong. It was really good gel, but I ended up not liking my lock pattern, so I wanted to start over again. And I was going to reuse the aloe gel, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I was too lazy to make it again. I would recommend it, but I was too lazy to make it again. And I didn't feel like, like going through it. And plus, when you store it, it's not a product that stays fresh for a long time. It, it goes bad real fast. So pretty much the second time I started my locks, I started using this product. And this product actually like helped very well it held my locks in place for a hot minute and i'm all it held my coils in place for a hot minute so i would recommend that product if you're going to be starting locks but as far as using it for retwists and stuff I don't, I don't know i never use it myself but i just use it for starting locks and it sounds crazy you buying a whole thing just to start your locks and not use it again it sounds crazy i know but i gave it to somebody I don't remember where it ended up at. Hopefully, you know, somebody using it. So when I restarted my locks um, for the second time, it was the pattern that I wanted, which is what I have now. It's the pattern that I wanted. It's the look that I was going for. And I was so much more happier. And one thing, if you're going to be starting your locks yourself, take your time. Don't rush it. If you got a few hours or whatever to spare, use it and please take your time don't rush it if you want your locks to come out a certain way or if you're going for a certain pattern or a certain style take your time and you will do it and i didn't know what i was doing as far as patterns and stuff goes i probably started somebody else's locks twice but my own on my own head and then having to use a mirror to make sure my parts are straight it was hard it was difficult but when i took my time what can I say like what can I say what can I honestly say like it came out good like it came out real good so I have 132 locks I did start it in July 15th of 2022 for those who have seen this video I posted it like a month later than I was supposed to because I was a little iffy about it but it's doing pretty well like don't take a guess if y'all second guessing anything don't just go with it and see how well it goes and I do retwist my hair once a month I heard that's not good but honestly for me it works sometimes I let it go over a month like a month and two weeks but I'm afraid to know this you can stop all this lollygagging I'm gonna show y'all all the stuff that I use like I said before I'm gonna show y'all the product and we finna jump right into that so let's do it all right guys so this is my list for my hot oil treatment I have all the measurements here and then i have all the oils over here and over here you can use coconut oil or olive oil and then down here is my everyday oil and i'm gonna get into that um next y'all she's supposed to be helping me but she is knocked out she a little upset today i don't know what it is she just giving me side eye and attitude so this is the first oil on my list it is organic coconut oil and i did get this from walmart i will also be listing a few benefits of each oil so y'all know exactly how it helps and benefits your hair within a hot oil treatment so for starters with the coconut oil there is a lot of benefits to it but i'm just going to list the four main ones that i know it helps with hair growth it also helps with dandruff it reduces hair breakage and it also fights fungal infections and the next oil i have on the list is avocado oil the benefit for the avocado oil is it moisturizes repairs and strengthens hair next up we have glycerin it moisturizes and it's also known to prevent hair breakage and i do want to mention it is great for a deep conditioner which is perfect for a hot oil treatment basically when we have the oil on our scalp it's going to be getting that deep condition with the hot oil cap on but let me tell y'all the next one is peppermint oil the benefits of the peppermint oil is it improves your hair growth and it prevents some hair loss. I do want to mention for those who have never used peppermint hair oil before, it does tingle on the scalp. So you want to feel like this very fresh feeling on your head. Don't think nothing's wrong. Just know it's, it's the peppermint oil. The next oil I have on the list is rosemary oil. The benefits of the rosemary oil, it stimulates hair growth. It also prevents premature graying and dandruff. It also helps with dry slash itchy scalp, it improves circulation, promotes nerve growth, and have anti-inflammatory properties. The next oil on my list is wheat germ oil, which is, where is it? Right here. 
This is the Wheat Germ Oil. It's actually my favorite oil to use. It not only is beneficial to the scalp, but it encourages strength and elasticity of each strand within your hair. And another thing about it, it also helps strengthen your hair roots and the follicles. So this oil right here, I feel like this is the MVP of all the oils. But the next oil on my list is lemongrass oil. This is the lemongrass oil here. The benefits is it supports hair growth. It can also eliminate itchiness and provides relief from scalp irritation. And it also prevents hair shedding. So for my everyday oil, I use lavender castor oil and I also use lavender oil. I do wanna mention that I do not oil my hair every day. I do oil my hair every two or three days. If I'm oiling my scalp, it's only with this. I'm not oiling my hair with nothing else but these two ingredients. So this is the lavender oil here. The benefits of the lavender oil is it's antimicrobial, it stimulates hair growth, it also soothes your scalp if it has like any irritation or itching, it suppresses headaches which is major for me because I get headaches a lot, and it fights hair loss. Now for the castor oil, this is the castor oil that I use, the brand is Sunny Issel if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is the hands down best castor oil that I've ever used y'all. It has one ingredient, well two, cause it's lavender, but it has two ingredients in it, as y'all can see from the bottom. It works really well. But the benefits of the castor oil is it soothes your strands, it nourishes your hair, it promotes scalp health, it prevents split ends and breakage, and it helps purify your hair and scalp. For the hot oil treatment, I do use this six ounce bottle that I got from my local beauty supply store. I know it says six ounces, but I think I fill it up to like seven ounces or something. But you know, it got space for that extra ounce, so don't worry about that. If y'all could get a seven ounce bottle or a six ounce bottle the next item you will need is a funnel of some sort unless you got a steady hand but me i needed one of these and i got this from walmart it does come in a three pack the next item you will need is something for your ounces everything i do is measured on an ounces base so you will need something for that and i did get this from walmart as well this is the other bottle that i got here for my everyday oil i got it from amazon and it did come in like a two pack and the reason why i got it is because it has like a dropper and that's exactly what i'm looking for when I'm oiling my hair every two or three days. So you will also need your funnel and you will also need your um, measurement cup again. That is what I use for my everyday oil. All right guys, so now that I went over all the oils and we have everything we needed to make the hot oil treatment, we got the bottle, we got the oils here, we got the funnel, we got the measurement cup, and we also have this tablespoon thing just to scoop out the coconut oil. So we're gonna get started and put it together. So the first one is three ounces of coconut oil. I also want to mention that we got cookies on deck just for good luck. You can't make the hot oil treatment without your good luck. You know what I'm trying to say? So I got cookies on the side for good luck. I did already start putting some of the coconut oil in here. So this glass only holds one ounce and we need three ounces of coconut oil. So what I did was I used the tablespoon. I just scooped it out. All right, so that's one ounce in there. I warm it up in the microwave for a good 30 seconds. And make sure you have something to steer it when it come out the microwave. You can have a spoon or just something that's convenient to you. I've seen this in the kitchen. So I just put it in there and I stir it around and I pour it in there. Next, you wanna do one ounce of avocado oil. And these bottles are actually one ounce already. So you just open it and pour it in there. Next, you wanna do one ounce of glycerin. I believe I have one ounce in here left, but I'm just gonna measure it out and pour it right in there. I'm actually under an ounce. I actually have half an ounce of the glycerin left, which is okay, I'm just gonna use what I got, but you would wanna use one ounce. Next, we're gonna do a half ounce of peppermint oil. Since I did make this oil already, there's like a half ounce that's in here, so I'm just gonna open it and pour it right in. You wanna do the same for the rosemary oil. You wanna put a half ounce in here. This is a half ounce in here as well, so I'm just gonna pour it right in. This is the wheat germ. It's already a half in here. I'm just gonna pour it in. And the last oil is the lemongrass oil. It's a half in here. I'm gonna pour it right in, and after that, you have made your hot oil treatment. So that's pretty much how I make my hot oil treatment before every use. I would give it a little shake before I actually apply it to my hair. And you're pretty much good for a couple of months. I know it's a little expensive buying all the oils, but it's gonna last you. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our everyday oil and we're gonna get into that now. So we got everything 
laid out here. I know some of y'all probably thinking like, this already has lavender oil in it or are you using extra lavender? Honestly, with the benefits of the lavender, I don't know how much they put in here. It doesn't specify, but I just put extra lavender in here just because and the benefits of it, it's not gonna hurt me. Let me go ahead and show y'all how I make it. First thing I'm gonna do is put my funnel on the bottle. So one ounce at a time, pour it in and repeat. going to take the lavender oil and put a half ounce in a shot glass and pour it right in. So this is my everyday oil mix is now done. Once you put the top on, give it a quick little shake and you're pretty much good to go. Now that you got your hot oil treatment made and you got your everyday oil made, your hair is going to flourish. Your hair is going to grow. Y'all see these two buns in my hair right now? If I let them down, to be real with y'all, if I let them down, it's going to be right here. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say too much. So when it comes to retwist day, the first thing I would do is wash my hair. And this is the shampoo that I use. It's Myel or Miel. I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand name, but it's, it's somewhere around that. But I will use this. I'll wash my hair once. After I wash my hair, rinse out the shampoo, of course. And then I will go in with the hot oil. So, well, I will go in with the oil. I just call it hot oil. But I'll go in with the oil, section my hair. Like I'll part the back out put the top in a ponytail. I do have a video uploaded for those who want a visual and are interested in like watching me do the steps, but I will section the back of my hair, put it up, put the oil in my scalp, braid it, next part, section it, put the top up, braid it, braid it, next, and do the same exact thing. And with the oil, I'm making sure I'm putting it all throughout the hair, all the strands, putting a little bit more oil in my hand, rub it together going through my strands making sure everything is coated and covered once you got that done next thing you want to do is get you one of these it's a shower cap you can get these from amazon i personally got these from my beauty supply store i think i got like a hundred pack for like five dollars or less but they don't cost that much i didn't get you a shower cap get you a few packs I don't reuse the same one over again. Once I use it, I throw it in a garbage can because all that oil is just gonna sit in here. So after you got the oil in your hair, get your shower cap, throw it right on. Once your shower cap is on, get you one of these right here. This is a hot oil cap. It has these little squares in it of the little gel packs. And what you wanna do with that is you pretty much wanna put it in the microwave, 90 seconds, take it out, put it right on. Once you put the cap on, let it sit for a good 15 to 20 minutes. It's up to you, your preference. You could probably do 30 minutes. It's honestly up to you, but I just do it for a good 15 to 20. I mostly always go for 20. After that, I'll take the cap off and y'all, when y'all take the cap off, I don't know if y'all ever experience hot oil treatments with the cap on, but when I take the cap off, I just feel like everything just hit my scalp. It's like a fresh nice feeling i don't know how to really explain it but it feels so good y'all will see exactly what i'm talking about once y'all do it once you take the cap off go ahead and shampoo your hair twice so i shampoo my hair two times make sure my hair is all good uh, then after that i will go in with a pump of the conditioner this is also leave-in conditioner i also take a pump of this rosemary mint daily styling cream mix with the conditioner put it in my hand rub it together and i just rub it through my locks now at this point your locks should be damp your hair should be damp don't put it in your hair soaking wet no get you a microfiber towel squeeze 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 make sure your hair is nice and damp put those one pump of the styling cream one pump of the leave-in conditioner rub it in and put it throughout your hair now if you want to put more of the leave-in conditioner put as much as you need. One pump might not be enough for you. So just put as much as you need. Uh, just don't do too much with it. Just don't overdo it. So put that throughout your hair. And when it comes to retwisting your hair, I would recommend y'all get this product here. Here is by Napstar. I ain't sponsored with none of these products that I'm recommending y'all. So if y'all thinking like I'm just trying to hype the product up or whatever the case, I'm really not. These products I really love and are so good. Use this for your retwist product. If you already have a product and you love it, then stick with it. But me personally, I've tried this and it works so good in my hair. It don't leave no residue, it's natural. I looked at all the ingredients and I'm the type of person who will Google every ingredient just to make sure, yeah, I did that and Everything's natural, everything's good. Y'all probably wondering why I got saran wrap on it. It actually came damaged in a box and there was order, there was order protection and you gotta pay extra for it, but 
just because it had insurance on there and this came damaged, she sent me another one. And I get to keep this one and I just put a little saran wrap on it. But other than that, y'all, that's pretty much it. That's everything that I use for my locks. If y'all starting y'all locks journey, I wish the best of luck to y'all. And if y'all using these products, I hope y'all see growth. I hope y'all see progress. If you already been locked in and you're just starting to use these products or you're thinking about it or you want to go for it, girl, go for it. Don't let nothing hold you back. Go for it. Your hair is going to grow. Your hair going to be just like mine. I wish the best of luck to everybody if you're starting or already started. I hope we have like a nice journey with our locks. And thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more to come. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all then.